Today, in this project, we are going to learn about sound censor, how it works, and interfacing its sound censor with Arduino. Coming to the connections, I'm using sound censor LDD 1K ohm resistor and Arduino Uno. Sound sensor has three pins VCC, ground, and digital pin. VCC of the sound sensor is connected to 5 volts of Arduino Uno and ground pin is connected to the ground of the breadboard. Digital pin is connected to the seventh pin of Arduino board. LED name Negative pin of the LED is connected to ground of the breadboard. Positive terminal of the LED is connected to 1K ohm resistor terminal and other side of the resistor terminal is connected to the 12th pin of Arduino board. This completes the circuit. Coming to the circuit and working. This is sound sensor which has four pins analog ground positive and digital in which i'm not going to use analog pin instead i'm using digital pin coming to the connections brown wire which connects ground of the arduino ground of the arduino to the ground of the breadboard from which I am taking orange wire to connect ground to the negative terminal and white jumper wire to the ground of the VCC sorry ground of the sound sensor blue jumper wire connects 5 volts of Arduino board to the brown wire which connects which connects to POS2 that is VCC of the sound sensor. The seventh digital pin is connected to green wire through green wire to the black wire which is connected to digital pin of the sound sensor. After connecting the circuit I'm going to connect my Arduino board to PC. Before dumping my code into the sound Arduino board, let's discuss about sound sensor. Sound sensor is generally used to detect sound waves. It is very cheap and easy to interface with any of the devices like Arduino, NoMCU, ESP8266, etc. It detects voice, claps, door knocks, loud noises, etc. It has it has a microphone in front of it, which is electric microphone. Inside the microphone, there is a thin diaphragm which is similar to our eardrum which is one plate of a capacitor and second plate is a black back plate which is rigid. The two plates are parallel to each other inside. When we speak or make noise into the microphone, the sound wave created by our voice strikes the diaphragm causing it to vibrate when the diaphragm vibrates it when the diaphragm vibrates the capacitance changes as a value as a plate gets closer together or farther apart which means when the diaphragm moves the capacitor values also changes according to this and the voltage across the place changes by which we can measure the amplitude of the sound. 
this is how electric microphone works in this sensor there is sound sensor with other components coming to the other components we have black chip here which is LM393 which is high precision comparator to digitalize the out input and the blue box is sensitivity adjustment that is built-in potentiometer to adjust the output signal we can set threshold by using potentiometer so that when the amplitude of the sound exceeds the threshold value the module will output low otherwise high which is also called as sensitivity there is a knob on the potentiometer when it is turned counterclockwise the in the sensitivity increases and when it is rotated clockwise the sensitivity decreases apart from this module has two leds one led is for power which is this the other led is status led in this project i have interfaced sound sensor with arduino now i am going to make a humming sound by which the led gets on and again i will do the same humming sound by which the led gets off this is a potential meet sound sensor now i am going to make a humming sound see the led glows and when i make the sound again the led goes low that is gets off coming to the code i have declared constant integer led pin and constant integer sensor pin with respect to pin values of led and sensor which is sound sensor in this case i am connect i have connected led pin to 12th pin and the sound sensor to the 7th pin i am using another variable of unsigned long data type and initializing it with zero i am using a boolean to store led state and initializing it with false this le is variable to store the time when last event has happened that is when the last clap or sound or the humming sound or even a loud sound boolean is a very here led state variable is used to store the state of the led coming to the pin modes led pin is output and sensor pin which is sound sensor is set to input in this statement i am reading sound sensor values by using digital read function and storing it in the sensor data which is is which is in data type if sensor data is equals to is equals to low which means when sensor data is low if pin go low sound is detected and inside the condition i'm using if condition 
in this if condition i am saying that if 25 milliseconds or greater has passed since last low state it means that clap is detected and not due to any other sounds here it means that millisecond minus le the difference is should be greater than 25 then it gets off outside this l is equals to millis function gives the value of the last event stores the value of the last event in the condition when the condition is true i am switching the led state when the led state is false it becomes true and gets into the led state variable when the value is true it gets false and gets into the led state after changing the led state i am changing the led by using digital right according to led state the values get high or low when the led state is high that is true we get high when the led state is false then we get low when you are conducting this project you can use any type of sound like humming sound door knocks claps loud noises and even you can just blow the air towards the microphone so that the capacitor plate which is diaphragm can get moved or vibrated so that the sound gets created i have done this project in the way such that when the sound is detected or the sound acts as a key for led when the sound is detected led goes on when the led is on and sound is detected led led goes off we can even change it or do it in many ways like glowing led parallel to the sound when the sound is detected the led goes when the sound is not detected or is when the sound is less than threshold value led is get off and vice versa etc you can get the code from the article link in the description thank you